Hi, welcome to the 12th episode of Knits and Pieces. I know, 12 episodes. Can you say hi to everybody, Zoe? Hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. So, welcome to everybody that's watching. Um, returning Happy New Year. Year, Returning viewers, yep. new viewers. Um, thank you so much for watching us. Um, it is, what is it today? January the 12th, 2019. So, we're into a new year. Um, I'm Noelle. I'm Jacqueline. This is Zoe. And Jacqueline is my daughter, and Zoe is my granddaughter. <laughs> So we are, our theme for our 3G this episode, and our 3G is kind of a segment at the beginning where we all kind of share something in common. Yep. So our, our theme for this month is January Huga. I don't know if that's pronounced right or not, but it's the H-Y-G-G-E. <laughs> so. so I always think when it gets to January, it's kind of nice for that nice cozy feeling cozy, and something because yeah. it's winter here and it's cold. So we all basically have something on that we really... Keeps us it's, cozy. Yeah, and it's us, a favorite yeah. to us. So for me, I have on the um, Such a Winter's Day yep. pullover. And it is by it's by Heidi Kermeyer. And it's done in Cascade 220, which is a non-superwash worsted. Mm -hmm. And the color is pale pink. And pale pink is one of my favorite colors. colors so, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and Zoe, what do you have on? Mm -hmm. What do you have on? And we all know, if you've watched the podcast previously, that Zoe, Zoe loves soft everything things. soft. Right, Zoe? Ooh, is that nice? So Zoe is actually wearing, this little scarf is called, um, what is it called? I think Zoe turned my page here. It's <laughs> called Wiggles, and it's by Drops Design, and it's done in the James C. Brett Chinchilla. Um, and it's just, here, we'll take it off and show here, Zoe. It's just a little scarf, but it's got just a little slit that's worked into it here. So when you're putting it on... Like a child, you don't have to tie any knots. You just kind of push it through yeah. like that. So yeah. it's nice and soft and keeps her warm. And Zoe, <gasps> Zoe's going to be going to bed soon, but she has something to show you, don't you? Hey. Zoe, Zoe, what's this? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> so my son, Jamie, and his fiance Suzanne were actually in Peru a month or so month before ago. Christmas, yep. Yep. and they brought Zoe back this alpaca from Peru. So soft and, and uh, It is actually the the, the, the fur on the yeah. outside is actually Sweet real alpaca. alpaca. The first thing she did when she took it out of the package was, oh. Yes, yeah, big hug, this is nice. Can you show your alpaca? Hey. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that's, that's our 3G, I think. No, mine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So mine <laughs> is my finished hipster shawl by Hohe. Um, and I'll talk amazing. about this more in my FOs, but yes. of course it's it's cozy and it's gray. So and it's gray. It's gray. So, that so I'm basically, right now. if you've watched, you know that my favorite color is pink, pink and Jacqueline's favorite color Everything is gray. gray. And Zoe's favorite color is soft. Yes. <laughs> right, so, so anyways, we're going to go get Zoe ready for bed. Ready for bed, yes. And then we'll be back. So yeah. can you wave bye to everybody, Zoe? You say bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> oh, kisses. Till next episode, kisses. we'll see Zoe. Hey. No kisses? Can you blow oh. a kiss? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so on to admin? Yes. So we're going to talk about well, our gift cow wrapped up. Yes. And we actually had 146 entries. That's good. So that's really, that's good. really good. So a lot of people knitted things or crocheted things yep. for people for Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and before the podcast, I drew some winners. So, um, Jacqueline's going to hold up some of the prizes here. We'll show you the prizes first, so you can show them the, the prizes. The first one? Yep. Sure. So, this first one is, you want to focus? Yep. Uh, kind of? Yep. It's the Tangled Stitch mm -hmm. Shop. Mm -hmm. uh, she's on Etsy, uh, the Tangled Stitch Shop. Um, and it's this really cute mitten bag with kind of candy cane stripe on the bottom. I know it's cute. I like yeah, it. it's really cute. I really like the drawstring. I won't pull it because it will keep it nice for the winner. But that's our first bag. Yeah, and that was it's Kelly O'Connor that makes those. So she's a friend of mine, and she donated that bag to bag. the podcast. Very mm -hmm. nice. So, and then the second one is from the Knits Best Thing. Mm -hmm. And you know who the Knits it's Best Dawn. Thing is? That's Dawn. That's yep. our friend Dawn, who is one of the codependent knitters. Yep. So it comes with this really cute little stitch marker. It's a little Christmas tree. That's cute. It's not going to focus. Um, but then the bag is really cute as well. It's got Santa and reindeer and some little owls mm -hmm. with some red swirly pattern on the bottom. And then it's got this bright green candy canes on the inside as well. So another really cute bag. Mm -hmm. 
So the winners for that were, um, the first one was uh, post number 43, and that was Hook Needle Love. And when I went in, there's not a name there, so it's just the Ravelry name was Hook Needle Love. And she made this little candy cane ornament. Oh, yeah. And it was... Um, it was really cute, but yeah, like it was knit in the round, so it's like knitting around a little tiny thing like oh, wow. this, and it goes around a pipe cleaner. I don't know if I would have the patience to do that <laughs> or not, but it was really cute. Yeah, we'll put a picture up, right? Cause we can grab yes, yeah, we'll take a picture and put a picture in there. And then the second um, winner was number 57, and that was Asteroid, and that's Patrizia, and she is from Portugal. Mm -hmm. And she made Favorite Cable Beanie. And it was really pretty. We'll put that in there. She actually stranded a sock yarn with a mohair. Mohair, nice. Yeah, so it looked really <laughs> nice and soft and pretty, and it had a nice pom-pom on the top. So we'll put a picture of that in there, too. Yeah. So we want to thank everybody for entering. There was a lot of beautiful projects in there. Mm -hmm. um, we finished a few things ourselves we for did. Christmas. Yep, a couple so, pairs of socks for me. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, because last episode, I think we had our ho-ho-hos. Yeah, just a half finish. Yes, yeah, yep. so you finished... I'd which ones were you working on? I was uh, my the green pair of the blue and sparkle. Okay, okay. And you got those finished? Yes. Yes, and I had finished Zoe's little blue ones. Mm -hmm. And then I think the other ones I was working on were the ones that ended up being for Suzanne, I think. Right. Yes. Well, you did all those Christmas socks and skates. Yeah, so. but, that, but that was the last one that I had finished up. Yeah, so that was that was fun. Yeah. So, so but now that it's 2019, we wanted to... Uh, start talking about our new sock along, yeah. our, our, our sock along for the yes, year, our, sock -along. our year long sock along. Right. <laughs> and the details for that will be on our Ravelry page as well, but pretty much you can enter any pair of socks all year long. Okay. We'll keep the Ravelry group thread open and we'll draw four socks, maybe what do we say, like every three months, every two months, two months we'll yeah. see how, yeah, we'll how see it how goes, goes. Yep. how many entries we, we get in, right? Yep. Um, but Every pair that you enter, so you can enter more than one pair, mm -hmm. has to be an adult size pair yes. though. Yes, yep. Um, you're entered for a chance to win. So right. even if you don't maybe win when you draw the first prize, your socks will still be in there for the next time we pull. Right. So yep. for the whole year, as many socks as you want to enter. Right, so the sooner, sooner you get some in there, the more the sooner you you've got chances of yeah, winning. Yeah, exactly. Yep. And then, I think we said too, it's not like they have to be started and finished in any time frame. They just have to be finished in this, this year. year. Yeah. 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 Because I know a lot of sock knit alongs are like you kind of have to start them and finish them in the month. Well, sometimes that's not realistic. Like if you've got um, yeah, a baby. You've got a little one. Right. Yeah. Run, or oh, you work a full time job or yeah. you just may not have time to do that. So this way, anytime you're finished a pair. Or maybe you're just working on multiple projects at once that like you don't finish a whole yeah. pair in a month. So Well, lots of people work on a whole bunch of socks at once too. So well, they don't true. necessarily finish a pair in a month. But Which means maybe every couple of months they have like that's five right. entries. Well, that's right. There you go. And that's fine. So. so. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like I said, all the information will be on our Ravelry page. Yep. Yep. And I'll try and get that thread up like in the next day or so, so that it's there. If you've got any, you know, you, people may have finished some already by, yeah. by, uh, what is it? January 12th? Yeah. Have people you finished, have finished any? No, so I haven't. I haven't. I know. That's surprising. <laughs> but maybe understandable since you did so many. Right, yeah. I just Christmas, needed, I needed right? a little break from yeah. socks for, for a while. <laughs> So speaking of like like last year and Christmas and things being over, um, do you have new plans for this year? I like do. As far as I mean, if I think back, I mean, maybe we'll talk more about it next episode because it'll be our, our one year and, kind of yep. anniversary on, on YouTube doing this. But I think because I was such a brand new knitter, there's mm -hmm. so many things that looking back that I've really, I've really learned well, a lot this year. Chatting. I went back and calculated what you did this year. Really? <laughs> yes, and you will be surprised. So if we go back and look at it, you did the adult size of Zell pullover for you. Right, which was a pretty, I mean, it was a simple knit to start with, right? But it was a full size, like, That's true. like tunic length pullover. Yeah. So you did that. You did how many dishcloths? Oh, I don't know, four or five. Maybe? Yeah, four or five dishcloths, and that was a that was a good point because it taught you how to do increases uh, and decreases, which I had never done before. Which seems like such an easy thing now. Well, now, but not at the time well, when I you mean, just first. Yeah. The don't first... you remember, like one of those first dishcloths was how many times you started it, ripped it off the needle. <laughs> well, I think it's because I also didn't probably use those. Remember, I started with a. Uh, the metal needles and yes. they're too slippery and now like I wouldn't use anything but those metal needles That's because right. <laughs> it's worth the cotton, yep. it's a little bit easier. Yeah. 
So then you also did the Lloyd Minster cowl. That's true. I finally, I finally got that done after. And then, and then you did the itty bitty bear cub socks, or no, bear cub the hat, hat, the little yeah, hat for Zoe. Yeah, that's true. Yep. And how many pairs of socks? Four. And before this year, had you ever knit a sock in your life? No, but <laughs> again, I have more plans like this year. Like I would really like to. I need. I need to do. I really want I know, to do socks. I know, but you did four pairs of socks. That's like not amazing. just vanilla socks. <laughs> did they look good? I like them. Yeah. Yeah. Did like you do? Good. Did you have to like cut them? I do have to cut them. <laughs> That's right. You put it in <laughs> after like a big, heel. A big thing at the time, but really, it's right. It's and I mean, like, what did you learn from doing socks? You learned well. First of all, to knit on two circulars. True. Yep. And to knit. No, did you learn magic loop doing the hat? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And I so did. Yeah, I, I still like the two circulars. Two circulars. Yeah. Two double pointed needles. I prefer that over the magic loop for socks. Okay. So, and you did the Japanese tote bag. Yep. Forgot about that one. <laughs> oh. And you did the Baldrick sweater. So, yes, a whole my whole sweater. Adult yeah. sweater, right? And you did that squeezy cowl. Yeah. So, so I for, know, but I feel like. So for, <laughs> you made me get all, the, all that done in like. <laughs> Jeff, I Jeff, I'm either. not a brand new knitter. This is true. So, like, so looking back, like I said, what I was going to say is I have learned a lot. I've learned, obviously, like like you said, the increases, decreases, knitting in the round. Like, there's just, there's so much that I feel like I've, I've accomplished. accomplished. And things that you but thought, that so you much thought more were going to be hard. There were I things do. that you thought were going to be hard. I get that. And then when you now. actually did them, they're yes. not. And already for 2019, how many, how many FOs do you have? Well, I have two. <laughs> this is the only but they the, weren't started in 2019. That's a matter. This is, this is still only the 12th of <laughs> January. This is true. So, But um, what I was going to say, actually, before <laughs> I didn't know you tied up everything that I did, is that because I've learned so much last year, I want to continue on with that this year. So, I mean, some of my goals, I guess knit, knitting goals for this year, is I really want to do a pair of socks with cables. Right. Um, I think the Clark socks, the two or the two honey socks that I've already purchased the pattern, oh. <laughs> or both, definitely <laughs> both probably. Both, yeah. Um, and maybe my first color work. Yeah. Piece. Yep. Um, Do you have any ideas for that? Yeah. Is it fern and feather? You've done. I, it's feather. either fern and feather, or feather, feather and fern. fern. I can never sure. which way it is, but because I really want to do another sweater, although I'm have other goals to finish sweaters right. that I've already started but I think for maybe for color work mm -hmm. that one doesn't have too much going on just it's just and, like, and it's only like, two colors only two so colors it's, and it's just a little like it's not too much of a design in the no other. and it's it's a worsted weight so it'll mm -hmm. go faster it's not like doing a fingering weight so yeah, yeah I think that's that's probably so that's, a good one that's my goal and then one which is like another side that like I, I don't know if will happen this year we'll see Maybe some brioche, which seems yeah. like a big thing because mom hasn't even like hundred percent. I'm just, I just, I, just <laughs> I, I would have to find the right pattern. That might be like I just don't want to do brioche to say I did brioche. It has to be in a pattern that uh, that I, I that really want to do. Uh, Allen book that I got has brioche at the bottom of the sweater. That oh, it does doesn't I? look. Do you know how like if you use like a very I don't know how it is, like a speckled yarn or something? It looks a lot different than if right. you just use like. A very tonal or right like a solid and, and color. there's one color brioche yeah or two color brioche so i might try one color brioche i just i like i said i have to find the right pattern. try something new too I'm, well i, I want to know so much I, <laughs> no no but i want to try doing a rug on my on my loom, on your loom. so that's something new mm -hmm. so that anything else <laughs> you know everything already no i don't there's <laughs> lots of things that i don't know <laughs> anyways we'll see i i haven't i don't do a make nine because I, I just finished the sweater and it took me it, like one or two days and I've gone through three or four. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this. I'm going to yeah. make this until I finally decide. So I don't think I could do a make nine. It would change all the time. Well, it so. would just mean you would finish those nine and you'd have to make another Yeah, and by the time I get onto another one, I've already changed my mind about what but I want to make. Do? So we'll see. Well, I already, I, I know that I want to, like I said, I had kind of in mind the fern feather slash feather and fern. Yeah. Whatever it is. Um, and then obviously finished my nurtured sweater. Yes. And my kestrel. Yes. Which I would really wanted to finish my um, kestrel sweater in time for in summer. So yeah. I feel like actually probably you could wear that to work in spring. Yeah, it's I three think it's, yeah, used, it? and yeah. you would you would wear a tank top or something underneath of it anyway. So I think it would it would be a nice. Yeah, one I don't to think finish. that would take that much to finish it. Either. No, it's and just, it's 
it's pretty straightforward yep. knitting too. So yep. So those yeah, are my so. my starts, but I definitely will have so it's so, a other products in mind. Congratulations! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so so should we move on to we our move FOs? On. Okay. Okay. So on to FOs. Sure. I'll start with what I'm wearing. So I finished my hipster shawl by Hobie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, I really like the good. way it turned out. Mm -hmm. I still have to block it. Yes. Um, I'm hoping it'll get a little bit bigger. Yeah, I think it will. When you, especially when you block out the alpaca, it's gonna, it's gonna stretch. stretch. Yep. Um, but yeah, I really like the way it turned out. I want to do another one. <laughs> I want to do another one that's like even like bigger. Bigger. Well, did you we'll see how this one? Yeah. Like quite a bit. <clears throat> Almost a whole. Okay. All. So, so I feel so like I could add, I could just add. Well, even at the end here, you could do like another section of this and then maybe another roll of that, or even it. just like garter, you could have just kept going with garter stitch until, until, it was until you ran out of yarn. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, but I still really like this. And mm -hmm. the, I did it in the Blue Moon Fiber Arts uh, crack packet, mm -hmm. which is actually, it's, it's, it's really light. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I just, I like the way it feels. It's yeah. really squishy yeah. and, and the cozy. fringe looks good. So it's my first time doing fringe. Wasn't that difficult? It's not. It's just <laughs> it's not, it's it's more, it's actually learning more thing, time right? consuming. Yeah, right. just because at the end you have so many. Uh, just cutting all the pieces yeah. of yarn. And I think I still might go back and, I don't know. Trim some of them up. Trim some of them I still, Do I, I want to be a perfectionist and make do... sure that it's all like perfect? But you can actually, like we're going to block it probably tonight or tomorrow, right? Yeah. Um, like once we lay it all out, you can see how the fringe goes in and the, probably the easiest time to, to trim to your fringe is when you've got it laid out laid like out, that. Yeah. Because, so yeah, that's my first one. And yeah, it's in the colorway Manly Yes, but I like it too. And, and I want to really wrap it up, but I just don't feel like it's big enough, but I still like I think like it will, you'll be surprised, I think, how uh, much it blocks out when, yep. Yeah. yeah. So. What's your first one? Okay. My first one is my Ingalls. Yeah, I really like the way this turned out. So, so this pretty. was, I was working on this, I think it was before Christmas, but then on the last podcast, we just kind of showed our Christmas. Just the gifts things. that we were doing, yeah. So this is Ingalls by Caitlin Hunter, and that, she is Boyland Knitworks. I think a lot of people have done this sweater. Yeah. Um, it's done in Debbie Bliss Fine Donegal, and that's the sky blue colorway. Is this, it's really, it's actually like light. Like really it's light. it's the original a... pattern calls for a DK, but this is a four ply. Okay. So it's lighter, mm -hmm. like a fingering, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it is lighter. So you get the looser, the looser gauge. But I think with the tweed yarn, it kind of fills in. Yeah. Yep. And then the um, the design up here is done with Lismore Sheep Farms. Their one ply, which is a pretty rustic yarn. Yeah, it's one hundred percent wool. It's it pretty looks rustic. Like thicker than the. Well, that's because I've stranded it with the uh, Elan mohair, right? silk mohair, which is a 70-30 um, silk mohair blend. Uh, so that, uh, the, well, the changes I made in the pattern was that I used a four-ply yarn or a fingering yarn instead of the DK. And then in the pattern, like you can see that row, the lace detail around there. I like the this. So in the pattern, they also had a row of it like in here. Oh, I can't see my hand is, but underneath that. And it was kind of in between those I don't know if they're snowflakes or whatever, but mm -hmm. in between those. But I found when you put them there and you're carrying your yarn across the you back, see the it yarn. kind of filled in the holes right. and you could see the yarn, so I didn't really like that. So I had done a couple of rows and then I ripped it back, back and left those out. But I still just left them at the top of the design and at the bottom of the design because I think they look nice there. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, and I really like wearing it. It's nice and light, but the tweed yarn is, I think the Debbie Bliss tweed yarn is 95% wool and 5% cashmere. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice and warm. warm and, yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. though for being so light. Yeah, so I was really pleased with that. Nice. So, and do you have another FO? I do have one more <laughs> FO. Finally got done with my Brunswick <laughs> beanie for my husband, which was supposed to be an anniversary present. And that was back in October. <laughs> oh, well, 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 we had <laughs> so, Christmas to work yeah, on. I had Christmas to work on, and it was like, oh. Everybody else's presents are more important than mine. Well, and but no, it, it wasn't that cold. I exactly. Like, no. <laughs> I was like, it's actually started to snow a lot. And I wasn't sure knitting it because I, 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 I do like the way it turned out. And it looks really good when he wears it. Because I think when it stretches out. have to put out, a picture in. Yeah, we'll have to like, take yeah. a picture of him wearing it. But uh, how do you like it, dear? Does it feel nice in your head? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So two thumbs up. So this, again, like I said, it's the Brunswick. Brunswick Beanie by Sue Grandfield, mm -hmm. um, and I did it in Shirley Bryan DK, which is uh, an oak. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah it does feel really nice. Yeah. It's 100% merino. Yeah. So that yeah, was one of nice. his stipulations. That had to soft. be really soft because... Mm. And that's always dead. <laughs> so he's dad and so we have the same haircut so, <laughs> so they, <laughs> they both like things it. that are really soft against their skin so yeah yeah, that's yeah nice. no that and looks good echo. yep so. yeah and I like that color and you got quite a bit of yarn left I do so we'll see what I, I make with it I'm not quite we'll have to sure wait. but yeah we'll have to wait and see what I can make out of it but yeah, yeah no it looks good so and that's, that colorway I mean, is like a brownish, grayish, neutral. Like, you're, yeah. you can go with a lot of things. So. Like, aren't you glad to be done with doing knit one pull and rip? Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it looks really nice and it's really stretchy. It gives and it, it fits, that stretch and yes. it fits your yeah. head, but... Man, <laughs> I don't want to do I another one. I don't even know when I'm working on a sweater. I'm so glad by it when I get done the rib that I get into the, the body of it. But when you're doing yeah. the rib the whole time, it yeah. seems like it takes so, a lot longer. Yes, it does. So, anyway. That's my last FO. Okay. Um, I have a couple more. So this one is my soiree. Mm -hmm. And that is by Emily Foden. And that pattern is actually available in, a, in two places. Um, so that new book that's out, Knits About Winter. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it has been out for a little while now. Not, not really long. But anyway, it's in there, but it's also in Pom Pom Quarterly issue 21, and that was their summer 2017 issue, so it's in there as well. So I have done the pattern in Fleece Artist BFL, which is Blue Face Lester 2.8, which is like a, a light fingering weight, okay. yep. but then it's stranded with Fleece mm -hmm. Artist yeah, Zambezi, which is yep. a 70-30 mohair silk blend. I really like the side, like the, so this is cable. What is this? What? It's, it's a honeycomb cable. So this cable, I didn't use a cable needle for. Like I can do it without, without a, cable a cable needle. needle? Okay. And then this one, I used a cable needle for. Okay. So, and then it's nice that honeycomb cable kind of goes all the way down. Like you carry it down and it down, goes down yeah. the inside the of the sleeve. Yeah. yeah. I really yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> yeah. That's not hard. It's not hard. It's and so then pretty. it feels amazing yeah it does. like i love the feel of it, it and really it, nice. it feels nice i really out. like this color too it's like a oh yeah the color's color. called mink mink yep mm -hmm. it's it's Again, funny because like i probably got that one of the sweaters that i'm going to show that i'm working and i didn't realize but it's probably almost the exact, exact color, color of this <laughs> yes and i have more yarn that i bought when i was in quebec and it's exact <laughs> i mean if you have too much of the same color i'm sure somebody you know could take it off your hands Maybe. just saying <laughs> yeah no so uh, the only modification I made was the sweater was supposed to be more cropped and I wanted it a little bit longer. longer. So I just added some repeats onto the, the body. Wow. And it, it was actually knit. So it um, was? It it's, wasn't It's not top knit down? top down. No. It's bottom up. Okay. So you go up so far and then you divide for your sleeves. And then you just continue like to do the front and then the back. And then you do the sleeves um, by picking up stitches and going down. Going down. Yeah. Yep. So, so I haven't done that construction for a while, and it's a little bit harder to tell with that construction exactly where your how length is going to be. be. Yeah. But yeah, but it worked out. I kind of just looked at the schematic and worked it out and figured out how long I want it, and it worked out yeah. fine. Nice. So, yeah. So that's that one. Um, the next fo that I have. These are so cute. These are. Oh my gosh. You can hold them up to the camera. There. Those are called baby. I don't know, can you pronounce that? Hashui? Oh, Hashui? No. <laughs> we'll, we'll have the name across the yeah. bottom of the screen. Anyway, it is by Innis M, is what it says on Ravelry. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, those are made in Hedgehog Fibers uh, Merino Aran. Okay. So it's an Aran weight yarn, but it's done on a four millimeter needle, so you get a, a tighter stitch yep. for the little booties. Mm -hmm. And that colorway is called so um, Daydream. Yep. So these are actually for new baby coming. New baby, not that, that, not Jacqueline, not, <laughs> not Jacqueline. But my um, my son and daughter in law are expecting a new baby in April. Yeah, and it's a girl. Mm -hmm. So those are for her. That's so cute. So yeah, yeah, I really like that little pattern. I might have to do more of those. They're adorable. Yeah. But but if I made those for Zoe, she'd never keep them on her feet. Yeah. <laughs> so. She can pull it, mittens and stuff off of her hands, so those wouldn't stay on. No. Either. no. <laughs> so those are. Those are all finished and ready to go. And then these are, um, so this pair of socks, I didn't finish them in 2019. I was going to say, I, you, yeah. I finished them in 2018 between Christmas and New Year's because um, dad got that yarn in his stocking. Right. 
with the promise that they would be turn, so these turned into your socks. These were Christmas Eve cast on? Morning. Christmas morning cast Yes, on. we were going to do a Christmas Eve cast on. Oh, right. Remember? We did, it yeah. was, by the time everybody left on Christmas Eve, we were too tired and we would have had to get the yarn winder out. On. and. Yes, so we Christmas yeah, Eve. so we just decided that we would do it Christmas morning. So Christmas morning, we both cast on a pair of socks. Yes, we did both with the same same company yarn. Same company yarn. Yes, the so twin, that twin sock. Yeah, but it's by Timber. Yes, so Timber, it's by Timber Yarns, yarns and it's called sock. their Twin Sock. Yeah. yeah, and it's it comes in two fifty gram skeins, mm -hmm. so yeah. they're matched exactly, so that when you do your socks, you've got they're matching matching socks, pairs. Yeah. Okay, so that pair basically is just a vanilla sock. So it's that two by two rib at the top, seventy two stitches. Um, afterthought heel, mm -hmm. rounded toe with just the single decrease, like I like the, the double center decrease in mm -hmm. the sock, so you just get the one line. Now the heels and toes I did do in a different yarn. The heels and toes are a Leo and Roxy mini mini, they're just little 10 gram little minis, tiny. so I had two of those 10 gram minis and I thought they the, the color matched pretty yeah, well the, to put yeah, in for the, the heels and toes. Really well. Yep, so that's, I really like the Timber yarn, she's actually a dyer in... I think the like Cambridge, so not that okay. far from us. Yeah, and she does beautiful more. colors. Yeah, um, my one of my whips. I'm working on my socks still, so you'll see mine are obviously self self striping yeah, they're self too, but they're a little bit different. Like yep. the weight of the stripes is a little bit different, which is nice too. So. But yes, I really like the I really like their yarn. I'm yeah. gonna have to eventually get, get them and do more. myself a pair. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, nice. Okay, and then I think that. The other thing, there was only one other thing that I wanted to talk about. I don't have it with me, but it was the little honey pie jumper that I did for Molly oh, so for cute. her birthday. We but we'll put, put a picture in, and, yeah. and I'll ask Rachel if she has a picture with Molly in it. We can put that in too. Yeah. But that uh, little jumper is by Frogonette, and that's Lisa Shemery on Ravelry. And it was done in the Hedgehog Fibers Merino Erin, which was the same yarn as it's I did the, the little booties in. Yeah. yeah. And it turned out really cute. It it's just so a little cute. a little jumper. It's got um, garter stitch across dress. here. It's got a little Pico hem on it. And yeah. Yeah, it looks really cute. It's adorable. So we'll put a picture <laughs> of that in there. Okay, so that's, that's, it, for that's it for that's it for FOs, yeah. So on moving to on to whips. Yep. Okay, so on to whips? Yes, on to whips. So I'll do mine first. I only have one right now. Okay. Since I've just finished this, putting the tassels on. I mean, I've got my and two the hat. Other, and, and the hat, but I mean, so I mean, I just, like I said, I, got, I had this off the needles, but I just needed to finish it. So I had my socks on the go. And then, well, I've also got obviously my nurtured sweater yes. and my Kestrel sweater, but I haven't touched those. So I yes. feel like these aren't whips. They're whips that are going to be picked up again very soon. soon. Yeah. So. Um, we mentioned this before when mom was showing her socks that she did that are from Timber Yarns, the twin sock. Um, and this was actually a Christmas present that I got from yeah. uh, mom and dad for Christmas is, uh, two, I guess two skeins of this. I guess, well, yeah. 50 grams. So there, it's basically, yeah, yeah. it's basically one pair or two, well, yeah, one pair of socks. Yeah. But, um, if you see compared to like mom's, uh, this colorway sort of has, which is called moon dust. Yeah, I forgot to say, mine was called Cabin. Log, log cabin. cabin. Yeah, log cabin. I was, yep. uh, well, Dad's bear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but this one has, it's sort of, it's gray, blue, purple. But they're green. kind of like the, like those are kind of tonal, tonal. like they're not just yeah. a straight color. Um, even even the pur the thinner purple stripe is kind of tonal if you. Yeah, the, it's really, pretty. I really like the color. Close. So yeah, so it's a little bit different because it's got like the thick and thin stripes. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I really like. The so when when you do up. yours, how many stitches do you do? So I did sixty four stitches. Okay. Um, that's usually what I've what done you do for, for all. Yep. And again, I did the two by two. But you, but when you did Mike, she did more. Yeah. Yeah. I yep. did seventy two. Maybe two. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm just past. I put. My yeah, life lines in for my yeah, heel. Yeah. heel. So I don't have too much more of this one. Again, as I thought I would have more time to knit, I think, over the Christmas break, but we had a lot of time with family. So well, yeah, I'm off. But I mean, we were sick for a while. And we were sick, and Zoe was sick for yeah. a while. And I mean, when Zoe was home from daycare, that's, that's great because we get to spend yeah. more time with her, but it also means that you're busy. Busy. Yes. She is just go, go, go now. So, um, these will get finished soon, though. I think they're pretty, like, again, it's just a vanilla yep. sock, so they no, end up pretty, pretty quick. Yep. 
but but it's nice to have that just to pick up and do a few rows yeah right? when there's exactly. no pattern and all you have to do is you don't really have to think about anything and so. i don't know if it, it i mean i'm sure it's partly psychological but when you're knitting like the soft striping it's like okay i just want to see what the next color yeah looks like in there. yeah and i think it'll be nice too because when you start on the second sock I don't really have to count rows. I can That's just right. kind of see where right. I am uh, yep. next to the color. So, yeah, yeah and good. they do feel they do feel, feel nice. nice. Yeah. They feel like they'll be comfortable too, yep. actually. So, so, yeah, that's my one and only whip. So. Okay, um, I have a couple. So my first one <laughs> is socks because mm -hmm. <laughs> I always have to have socks. You started socks. You just haven't finished any socks. No, I have. Well, I actually, fit, I actually started these ones before Christmas because I was going somewhere and I only, I don't know, I only had things that were bigger and I needed to start a pair of socks, socks. just to have something to do. So the the first one I've got done except for the heel. Um, these are socks on a plane. Is the name of the pattern. It's mm -hmm. by Laura Linneman. I think that that is pattern a... is probably my favorite pattern for so, socks. This is is this a different color toe? It is. Than the rest of the yes. socks. But what is the, what is this? Is, the, is, it multi, is this one skein? That's one skein. Oh, really? The yarn is a Mary Maxim yarn. It oh. is. Do I have the ball band in here? I do. Put this on come out. It's, okay. So pretty... it's Mary Maxim. It's called Sweet Feet. And I think it's actually discontinued, but it feels like one of the German sock yarns. Like yeah, the, like it's, the got a bit, it's a little bit, bit more, more rustic. rustic. Yeah. Yep. It's a 7525. It's a superwash wool. Um, it's got 459 yards. And it's kind of like that kind of is a really sort of neutral, neutral color because it's got go the grays things. and the beiges. Yeah. And, yep. But I, th I kind of wanted to do the toe just in something that was more solid. So yep. the, that's just leftover Croy sock yarn that I've had from honestly 20 years ago. <laughs> like that's how old it is. But I mean, it doesn't wear out. It's yeah. perfectly fine. So I'm going to do the heel in the gray as well. And is then this? in this, the second sock, I'm like just partway down the leg. But it's nice just to take in the car and do... yeah. A what? few rows here and there. Is this socks on plane? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I said. I uh, that's you if I can't think of what I know, like, but if I can't think of what to do, then that's the pattern I pick. I like how it looks. It looks good. Like if you do it in a solid color, it looks good. If you do it in a soft and striping, probably other than the fact that there's the cable, the rest of it's just yeah, and it's kind right? of like that. You can tell where you are by the number of cables, cables that you do. That are so it's down. really easy to keep track. So yeah, so I really like it. So those ones. That's another pair probably for dad. So he wears nice. socks all the time in the winter. So okay, so that's my first one. First one. Um, my second one is this little teeny tiny. <laughs> so another new baby project. This is another new baby project. So this is the baby vertebrae cardigan, um, and I have a picture of it because you can't really tell from that. Okay, so that's the baby vertebrae, and it is by Pika Pika Design Studio. <laughs> okay, and that is Kelly Van Nykirk. And I'm doing it in, it's a hedgehog yarn, it's hedgehog DK, so it's merino DK, and the color that I'm using is bramble. So it's a really nice cardigan for like a newborn or yeah, a little one because say, it doesn't have any buttons no. or anything. So it's probably and the really front's just kind of open. Yeah. So even if they've got like like you know drool a little bit or whatever, it's not going onto the cardigan. Right. Yeah. So then this one I've just got to pick up and go down for the sleeves, and then I'll, and then I'll pick up and there's the band that goes all the way around. around it. Yeah. So I thought it was really cute. Yeah, it's cute. It knits up fast and it's kind of a nice little peachy color. So it'll be mm -hmm. nice for a girl. And I should have enough to do like little booties or a hat or something, or something that yeah. goes with it. Yeah. And that's the, the hedgehog um, is a super wash yarn, which is nice for baby things. Yep. And sometimes I find with a super wash, you almost have to put it in the dryer a little bit after you wash it just to kind of get, get it to go back. Yeah. Otherwise, it stretches a whole lot when you're when you've got it blocked out. But I find if you put it in the dryer for a little bit, it'll kind of Come back pull it in, back into yeah. shape. Yep. So that's my second one. And then my next whip and this one. Sad to say, <laughs> this has been a whip since we did our first podcast. I was going to say, like, this looks familiar. I but, know. Uh, so I, I should, I mean, I'm going to like this sweater when it's done, but I just <laughs> kind of keep putting it away. But notice how it's the same color as my uh, soiree. Oh, yeah. The one that yeah, I showed. Yeah. So this is called Air, and it is by Amy Miller. So this is what the pattern actually looks like. So this is the back. And then the front's okay. just plain. Yeah, so it's a lace so back. The, yeah, so it's a lace back, and then the front's just plain stocking stitch. 
And I'm doing it in, that is Holtzgarn Coast, which is yes. a cotton and wool blend. And the color is called Cocoa. And I, I mean, I love it. And I love the feel of the yarn. But I think I, I took it out just recently mm -hmm. and just, I kind of was back here and I kind of finished off the front. Mm -hmm. So, and then I just did a tubular bind off across the front. And then all I've got to do is kind of seam it. And that's where like things get set aside because mm -hmm. I don't want to seam it. But all I've got to do is seam it and then pick up for the sleeves. Yeah. And it'll be done. And I mean, I think, I think it'll be a really nice sweater. So I'm going to really it try and like you to finish that I know, much of it. I, just I know. Don't finish the well, rest. I really wanted to do the back, right? The back yeah. really was. I thought, oh, I want to do that. It's so pretty. And look at it. And then I did it, and I'm like, okay, now it's stocking stitch and it's skinny yarn. <laughs> but it's so close to me. I done. know. I know. I know. So I'm really Too now please. that I've showed that and I've said that it'll be. A I'm going to have to. Yeah. No, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. But I, I am going to work on it. I do want to get that <laughs> finished. So because I do really like it, and that's on a three and a quarter millimeter needle. So it's like a lot of. Tiny. Stocking stitch on yeah. a little tiny needle and but get working on it. <laughs> okay. And then my last whip is actually, I just started it like today. Today? What's yes. today? Yeah, this morning, remember? I when was, you cast on last night? Mm, no, because I was too tired to go upstairs and get, oh. the, <laughs> get the yarn. <laughs> Maybe that's right. <laughs> but anyway, so all I've got basically is the rib, and I can't even, I mean, that counts as I've started, but I can't even really show it to you. I don't have a picture of it because I only decided today that oh, I, yeah, this was the pattern I was going to do. Yeah. So the pattern is actually called Let It Fall, and it is by Matilda Cruz. Um, and I'm doing it in this Indecito DK so Alpaca. Soft. Oh, and so actually, soft. this is the Pantone color of the year. Well, pretty close. The Pantone close. color of the year. I think it's called Living Coral. I think that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. so it's it's a corally color. I and should know. I'm a craft designer, but you know. A pretty coral color, and it feels nice and soft, and hopefully I'll have more done next time so I can show you what the pattern looks like. It's kind of a boxy fit, right? It is, yeah. but it's but it's kind of lacy. Lacy, yeah, yeah, too. So Yeah, but I think with the alpaca, it'll kind of fill in the lace a little bit. So yeah, I think nice it's going to feel too. nice. So yeah, so that's, I will show that next time. One thing I did want to say about that is I'm trying out the Making Things app. Mm -hmm. So the Making Things app is you pay a price per month, per month yeah. and then you've got access to, oh, like hundreds and hundreds of patterns. Mm -hmm. So I guess you have to look at realistically, I think. How many you would do in a month, right? Yes. Like I don't know for me if it would be worth it because I don't think I would get the full benefit out of no, making that. No, but like, like that, that pattern is on there. That little honey pie pattern yeah. that I did the... So you don't download it, you just look on... No, you can't you download it on. and you can't print it. So it's, it's basically on online. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And there was a couple of other patterns that I did from it. So I'm going to try it for a full year. And just see how it goes. And I'm going to, when I put my, my patterns into Ravelry, when I put my finished projects, I'm going to put a tag on it that says that I use that. And then I'll go back and I'll look, look at it at the end of the year and, and figure out how many, whether it was worth my while yeah, to... Yeah, that makes sense. ...to pay for it or not. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, there's lots of, there's lots of nice patterns on there. There's kids patterns, adult patterns, socks, hats, sweaters, mm -hmm. gloves, mitts, decorations, everything. <laughs> so there's, there is a, a wide variety of patterns and designers on there. So I thought, give it a try for a year and see how it goes. Yeah. And I'll talk about it in a year and see whether, see whether it was worth it or not. Or not. Yeah. Yep. So that's it for, for whips. For whips. Yep. So we move on to. Accidents. Acquisitions, yes. <laughs> okay. So, because it was Christmas, yeah. we had some acquisitions. Oh, yes. oh, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, is, this is my first acquisition, and this was from Jacqueline and Mike and Zoe. Yeah. So, this is a new ball winder. Yes. You see it? Yeah. Yes. And I'm thrilled to have this, because my other one was like, Pretty much pretty giving up the goes. When I crank it, you can hear it going click, yeah. click. <laughs> but you probably still want to keep that one because if you're traveling or something. Well, yeah, I'll still keep it. And yeah. Because this one might be a little bit, bit hard, hard to travel travel with. Yeah, but I'm really, I'm so hopefully, really looking forward. Hopefully I haven't, you like it. I had good reviews, so yep. hopefully. I know, I'm sure I'll <laughs> like it. So just do like, like so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um. Yeah, so Jacqueline had it here when I got here this time because you had ordered it before Christmas. Yeah, and, it and I would actually, because I think we had kind of maybe talked about it on one of our previous episodes, but Canada Post here, yes. like everything was so like far behind because they were on strike. So like I didn't know if I was going to get it on Christmas. Because like, otherwise I would, get it in Christmas. I would have had it out of the box by now. And used yes, it. yeah. So, so I'm looking forward to taking that home and trying it out. You not. got a piece of paper with a cup. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That was, that was thrilled. Christmas, that was not like so. something that I needed. So yeah, yeah so thank you. 
So my first act acquisition was also a gift too and maybe you've seen it sort of in shot before but <laughs> I got my very own cringe bag <laughs> so um yeah mom got this for me well mom and dad got this for me but you picked it up when you were in New York yes um at Pearl Soho. yes because yeah. I didn't say I went to Pearl Soho no you didn't because I would have known would be... I would have been like you knew I wanted a cringe bag and you could have got there and you know, I would have paid you back no, so I didn't even tell you that I so, went to Pearl Soho. yeah and <laughs> yeah, that's good. And that was the color you wanted. Yeah, so I got finally got my little alpaca okay. pin to match yours. Yes, too, I think on I there. I've got another one too, and a couple more on the way. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's my first one. Okay. So my next acquisition was another Christmas present, mm -hmm. and I think I I talked earlier about my son that had son and and they went to Peru. Yes, and they brought, brought back from yeah. So Jamie and Suzanne brought Zoe back the alpaca. alpaca. Yep. But for Christmas, they brought me back some yarn. So that the whip that I was working on, I was actually using, using the yarn. yarn. So this is from Peru. They actually got it in Peru in I can't remember the name of the town. We'll put it down below. Mm -hmm. And actually. Um, Jamie went to the place by himself. I guess Suzanne was not feeling that well that day, so he went to the place himself. And he went in, and, and they didn't speak English, and he's trying to figure <laughs> out what it's going to get. And then they didn't take visa, oh, so boy. he had to leave. He had to go out, and he had to get money yeah, and <laughs> come back. back. So anyway, so this is this is an alpaca from Peru. It's um, Indesita, alpaca DK. Um, it's 100% luxurious baby alpaca. Yeah, I was going to say, he did really feels, well for not knowing, really. He, so... Like, Anyway, so he got me this color. Yep. So that's what I'm doing, You're the sweater on, that I yeah. just started out of. And then he also got me the natural color. Mm -hmm. And that's going to make a nice either sweater or shawl. And then this kind of turquoise blue. Mm -hmm. And they're kind of nice. Like, they're, kind, they're not... Like they look, they might not... look solid when you see them up at the camera, but they're kind of sort of tweedy. Like I think yeah. it's how the, it might be how the alpaca takes the dye. Yeah. But yeah. the, and not, then, it's not a flat color for sure. Like when no. you look at it, like you can tell, like you said, I think that the wool just takes it differently. So yeah. it's not a hundred percent saturated really. Yeah. So it gives it that kind of tonal effect. Yeah. Like and pretty. then. And, but in that color, you can actually see. Oh yeah. There's definitely. But like then other purple breaks. So you so, can see the. I don't know if you can. That'll focus. There, there, you can see, see it the, there. Because yeah, almost you can almost see the blue and and a little bit of like reddish. But purple is a color that breaks out into the separate components, so that could be why you see that see more that there. More? I don't know, yeah. but anyway, there's that color too. So, yeah. So like it's you brought really me back. And so soft. It's so soft. Yeah. And yeah, and there's. You're gonna have some beautiful sweaters. I'm gonna have some beautiful sweaters <laughs> out of this. So anyway, so yeah, so. I, I have enough of each one to do a sweater, like a sweater, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to combine some of them or do them. So anyway, for right now, I just picked this color and I'm going to do that one sweater and then we'll go from there. Yeah, you'll see yeah. how it knits up. Yeah, it will, so far ideas. it feels yeah. amazing. So, yeah. So thanks, Jamie and Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> so my second acquisition is also a gift from <laughs> Mom and Dad. And they got me more of the track packa, which is the chestnutty color that I guess I went on and on about yeah, well, yeah. So I guess <laughs> they kind of got it perfectly. But I have plans for this, and I know exactly I'm going to do another. But yeah, off. but this time, just make sure you use all the yeah, I'm gonna, yarn. And yeah. we'll see how that blocks out, but you might even want to go up like a needle size. Size just a, yeah. So yep. I, I really, really like this that's color. Pretty. Like I said, that's the chestnutty color yep. in the... And again, there's a tonal, so you can see different, like when you pull it out, you can kind of see different. See it's a little bit darker yep. in places. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of hard to, to see that. What do you like, see a little bit there? Yeah, it's pretty. So I think so then you'll kind of have like, like your, a gray one your cool and neutrals and your warm, warm neutrals. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> yeah, that's my second one. Okay, and then my <laughs> next acquisition. Okay, so on December the 30th, um, Terry at Feather Your Nest had a little, a little kind of like Christmas get together, bring your FOs, your finished objects and yep. show them. But then she also had some amazing yarn from Hugh Loco. Loco. Yeah. So I had to buy some. <laughs> so anyway, so I got three skeins and this is, um, the base is called Phyllis Sock. This is the same. Yes. So it's a 7525 superwash merino and nylon. 
460 yards. This color is called Wood Nymph. Yeah, it feels and it's, nice. Yeah, it does feel nice. And Very this is kind of like a, a like a pale purpley with the green. Mm -hmm. So I got two skeins of that, and then I got a skein of, I really like this green. Oops, got the Hue logo wrong, upside down. Mm. And this green is called Harvest. So they look like they look nice together. Yeah, they look really So I'm actually together. thinking I'm going to do, there's a sweater called Archer. I can't remember who it's by. But I really like it, and I think I might, I might do that, with, do that with it. Yep. Thanks. But who knows? By the time I get to yeah, it, it could be something totally something different. Now. So we'll see. But at the moment, that's what I'm thinking of doing have. with it. Yeah. So, do you have anything else? I, I have two more things. So oh, two more. Yeah. So this this one was a gift oh. too, but this wasn't a Christmas gift. This was a birthday gift because my birthday is actually a week before Christmas. Yes. So I get I got spoiled this year two weeks. <laughs> In a row, not that I don't most years, but um, from mom and dad, I got my I own sedge. <laughs> of Luca? 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 Like Huga? Luca? I know. <laughs> Luca? 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 Whatever. We'll get it right one of these days. But it's the gray, of course, driftwood needles. So. They're just so pretty. I know. You haven't even, have you even used them? I haven't yet? even used them because you have, you have I haven't cast on something that's like. <laughs> my husband's like, what? You got to heal me. You haven't even. But when but I you cast gave something me like back, so, yes. now, so now you're going to have we, to. I gave you all yours back, so now. And I have plenty of cords because I had some of the Knitter's Pride cords and they fit the. Uh, knit picks. Oh, knit picks. Knit picks. Okay. Cords yeah. work. You can interchange them, but now I have yep. beautiful black ones that yep. match you too. So. Yes, because yeah. we can't have the cords not matching. No, <laughs> all the stuff that I got, it was all, it's all like so, I mean, the crack pack is, I guess, the exception, but everything else is beautiful, sparkle, gray yeah, you're, color, you're totally me. So much more neutrals yes. than I am. Yes. Yeah. And then, are you finished? I'm finished. Okay, I have one more that actually, we went to Little Red Mitten uh, in St. Thomas today. And I got some super bulky yarn. So this is an acquisition book that I bought myself. So... This might, though, be a gift for next Christmas. Crazy to think that maybe I should think about or, gifts or, already for next Christmas. But I just, want to keep it. I might do it. I want to keep it. <laughs> Very possible. Because it feels quite similar to the Big Squeezy yes. yarn that you picked up at me least. while we were at, yep. you were at East. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm, so I'm going to make another cowl. Um, like the one you sent as a gift. Like the one I sent as mom. a gift to my yeah. mom. So... I really like the way that knit up and how cozy that feels. And like this again is, is it from somewhere? No. Yeah, wait. yeah, yeah. It is right. Yeah, does it does it yeah, not stay on it? Turning it. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty, pretty sure it is too. It feels really nice. It does feel nice. So I think again. Right now, because it's so cold, I just want something. To, yeah. Me. So we'll yeah. we'll see if it's a, and that, I mean, a that, gift for somebody or not. You but know that'll knit up fast because you've knit the one. Yeah, it knit, knit up really knit quickly. Up. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's my last acquisition. Again, very neat colors yes. and stuff. Yeah. So, well, I'm likely that won't be. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never so, know. So, do we have pieces this episode? I don't. I, I did do some tea towels, but I don't have them because I've already given them away. Okay. Well, I have oh, yeah. I have two that are okay. sort of, that's why I kind of wanted to talk to them before. I mean, it's kind of acquisitions, it's kind of pieces, but I'll talk about them quickly because okay. one is actually like a gift that I got, again, for my birthday, but it's not knitting. Um, I got this uh, macrame kit. Mm -hmm. um, and it's called Not It Yourself, and it's by Not Living, oh. which I've, have you heard of it before? Heard that. No, 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 I haven't, but... They give you everything to make this. Oh, that's made. cute. Yeah, it's really pretty. And that's I feel like nice. it's perfect because our, like, even the walls in our bedroom are, like, a light gray. So it's, like, it's perfect. So they give you everything to make it. So what, oh, how, what would you, I don't know how you would describe that. Um, it's, it's like, cotton. It feels oh, cotton. 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 Like a rope almost. Yeah. Well, it's, like, like tubular like, knit, sort of. Everything, obviously. Yeah, you've got the beads. To make it the beads. The, the the dowel because again like I said that's the way it looks um and even some of the obviously the instructions right. to how to start it and actually I was reading the instructions earlier today and like it doesn't seem that complicated although crochet or like macrame is something I've never obviously done before so. dad's done it dad's done it dad's done it wow I was asking dad maybe he's gonna be a guest on our next episode there you go so 
So yeah, that's my first. Yeah, because he, he, like... he used to make those, you know, like those macrame plant hanger things. Oh yeah. Yeah, he used to make that's those. That's so, so funny because those are like back in style now. They are. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. All the hanging like, like macrame made, but... things. So, so you'll have first. to ask him. Yeah. And then my second is also, again, when we were talking about things we want to accomplish this year, mm -hmm. trying some new things out. So I want to start, I want to learn how to crochet, crochet. too. Um, and speaking of, I'll, I'll bring up a, like a past <laughs> one that is so funny that like Mike's mom sent down for Zoe um, that she found that Mike actually crocheted this. How, <laughs> when did you crochet this, dear? Like a long time ago. No? Couple, well... You, you said, said when Anna said, was a baby, that was a lot. I guess it was like 12 years. 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's this cute it's little cute, like though. bird. Anyway. Like you could like just make these and sell them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I put, picked up this kit from Mary Maxim because I got a Mary Maxim gift card in my stocking from my husband. And it's a little giraffe. giraffe. And I think it's so cute. And this one actually is a pink color, so... This actually, that, like, that It looks almost, similar, right? Like, this almost feels cottony. It might be. Oh, yeah. So, this is what I'm going to make Do you remember for Mike, Zoe. what size hook you used? No. <laughs> so, again, the macrame. I'll ask Dad if I have any questions. If I have any questions with this. Oh, this is not there we, go. we have experts. <laughs> we have experts in the family. So, yeah, that's my last acquisition slash piece. And with that, it's always like you woke okay. up. So... So anyways, well, we just want to say thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Um, and just want to, I, I think I forgot to mention the winners in the Cal. Mm -hmm. Just email me on Ravelry or, or personal message me on Ravelry with your addresses and, and we'll I'll get, get those prizes, prizes in the mail yeah. to you. And then one last thing too was um, on our last episode, we announced the winner of the Caitlin Hunter Cal. Mm -hmm. And she still hasn't gotten a hold of me. So that person is... Um, here. Okay, that was Julianne 2 on Ravelry. So, Julianne, if you want to get a hold of me and let me know, and I can get that prize out in the mail to you. Yeah. So, get knitting your socks and get them in for the, the year-long sock, -along. sock, sock -along yep. and get them in there, and we'll be back next month. Yeah. So, happy knitting. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.